When your child has been bullied, it can be really hard for the whole family. As a parent or carer, you might be feeling a whole load of negative emotions. Angry, frustrated, worried, guilty, hopeless and heartbroken. And you might be feeling really unsure about what to do next. The good news is there are things you can do. So number one, talk to your child and be really kind. They might be being told that there's something wrong with them um, or that nobody likes them. And of course this isn't true, it's just an excuse to pick on them. So you can help by reassuring your child that there isn't anything wrong with them and it, that it's not their fault that they're being bullied. It's also a good idea to keep your child in the loop when you're planning on how to tackle the bullying. So you can ask them what they need and ask them for ideas and ideally work out a practical plan of action together. Number two, keep a written record of all the bullying incidents. So what happened, where, when, who and the impact on your child. Like it makes them feel scared to go to school. Having a written log like this is really useful for spotting patterns. So you might realise that the bullying is often happening at break times or in a certain place in school. And this can really help you to come up with an effective solution. A bullying log is also invaluable to help you be taken more seriously when you're speaking to the school, the police, children's services, or if you need to make a formal complaint. Number three, ask the school to create a written safety plan for your child. Schools have a legal responsibility to keep all children safe from harm, both mental and physical. So you can explain that your child doesn't feel safe at school and ask the school to write down exactly what they're going to do to stop the bullying and help your child feel safe. It's a great idea to read your school's bullying policy so that you know exactly what you can ask the school to do to protect your child. For more information, visit our website or contact us on our free parent advice helpline.